Welcome to the show. My first guest is Lisa. Lisa, I usually try to do the show like I hear it and let it unfold, but I get a little bit of briefing just before the show. And what they're telling me back here, this might be one of the craziest stories I've ever done. So you tell me why you're here today. I have six kids, Steve. And I've only got one in my custody. And why is that? Um, back when I had my twins, I was stupid. I was on some drugs. I had shaken one of my children. And I didn't shake her hard enough. What kind of drugs were you on? I was on cocaine and meth. And so you would say, that's being a bad mother, right? Yes. Then stand up. Continue. And when I shook her, I was trying to get her to pay attention to me because she was crying so much that I was just trying to calm her down, which I finally calmed her down. And with the drugs, I had forgotten that I didn't change her diaper. And I checked her diaper, and it was drenched. It was even coming through her clothes. Well, immediately, I changed it. And I put a new diaper on, it, on her, and she was still crying. Well, I took her to the emergency room, come to find out she had a urinary tract infection. So... I, they asked me what I was giving her to drink, which I was watering her down with pop and water mixed together. And how old is your child at the time? Four months, which I was told that it was okay. Well, the doctor Who told, told you that? My best friend. And is your best friend a pediatric no. doctor? Or what, what was your friend? What did she do for a living? She was a drug dealer. Oh. <laughs> okay, so you're taking advice from a drug dealer on how to take care of your children. I did at the time, which I was stupid. I was no good mom at the time. So the doctors told me that I had too much acid. So I stopped giving her soda. At, I mean, I call it soda because I'm from no, up north. I mean, from It's not about what you call pop, soda, pop, whatever. It's about you doing crack and meth and not taking care of your babies, okay? <laughs> so you lost five to six children. Let's go down the list of some of the things that you are accused of. You, first, you had twins, right? Yes. And uh, you refused to change their diapers. You put pop in their bottle, because some drug dealers said, oh, that's a good idea. And she had these horrible rashes. You had to take her to the emergency room. You shook your four-month-old when she was crying. Yes, I did. That's a good way to keep her keep a four-month-old from crying, right? That's that's good? No, it's not. And what was that? The drugs telling you to do that? or? Mostly, I was stupid. And... Are you just stupid, or are you just evil? There's a difference. I'm stu well, stupid back then. I've changed my life. So now you're smart? I know. I don't plead to be um, the perfect one. I'm not perfect, Well, Steve. nobody has to be perfect to be a parent. Exactly. We all make mistakes. That's why I left the drugs. I have been clean for two years, and I am raising one of my children. Well, good because golly, I have one finally... out of six. Congratulations. <laughs> I have finally settled down, and I've you got You sound like you're proud of that. I am proud of myself for um, losing the drugs. Are you I, proud of raising one out of six children? No, I'm not. I'm you're, not perfect. Here's Steve. the other one that I. Okay, you're not perfect, Steve. You were accused of not feeding your children. I fed my kids. That's false allegation. That's a false by allegation. One of my family members, which is here today, I have taken a lie so detector why would you, test for that. Okay, so you took a lie detector test before the show, and we'll get to those results. Why would your family member? And, and I'm taking it. This is a sister of yours. Yes, it is. Why would she make that accusation that you were not feeding the kids? Because we don't get along. She don't like me, and she. Says that Maybe I, she saw her sister doing crack and meth and said, boy, she's, she's not taking care of kids. She's never been around my kids. The only one she's been around is the one I'm raising now, and she only went and seen my one sign. You come on stage and admit to using crack and meth and that you were a bad mother. Yes, Why would you, so, I have changed. I have a husband that supports me all the way, and I take good care of my son. I have grown up, Steve. I finally have stepped in that step, and I took all after the After six children, finally, I've taken that step, and I'm going to start taking care of my kids. Oh, that's great. Um, child number three, take it directly from the hospital because a nurse, not a family member, but a nurse overheard you threatening to kill the baby because she looked like a father. Child number three, take it directly from the hospital because a nurse, not a family member, but a nurse overheard you threatening to kill the baby because she looked like her father. That was a lie. Nurse is lying too? Yep. Because what has she got against you? It wasn't the nurse that heard it. No, the nurse heard it and the nurse reported it. There was no nurses in there, and I never said I wanted to kill so my daughter. So they just came in and took the baby. I said that I did not want to have her with me, and at the time, I did not want to have her because I was with a husband, well, a boyfriend, which you might say I was married to him because I was with him, and he was abusive. I did not want her to bring her into that situation. Okay. See, and even like that, we haven't even got to the bad parts yet. 
Child number four, you tried to smother him with a pillow, and nurses saw you shake the baby. Nope. The, everybody making that up, too? Yep. Yep. Just because, why? I don't hurt my kids, Steve. My kids are my pride and joy. How, how do you, why don't you have them, then? Because you have I one right out of six children. I was stupid. I have grown up. I finally have someone that supports me with my kids now. What if about, I, all, what about all these other people? What about all these making wrong decisions? He says, you can either change or there's the door. What about all these other men that you were having kids with? The last one, well, two, well, I'm saying the last this, two you're just, have you're, one dad. The other ones, I don't know who their dads are, except for one. Like I said, the hits keep on coming. The four, your, your fourth child, your sister says, you said to your 13 month old, Mommy doesn't want you or love you. And then at 15 months, you said, bye-bye. You'll never see me again. No, I did not. So your sister's lying yes, about that. Yes, she is, because she was never around except for two times. I took her to finally meet her. If she's never people. around, she's not part of your life, why is she lying about you? Because we don't get along. What don't you get along about? Because she don't like me, she hates me, and she thinks I'm a worthless why? woman now. Well, she's right. I'm taking care of my child now. and I'm One like, of them? Yeah, and I've been trying to get my other ones back. So I called your show, Steve. Oh, that's why you called. You want me. I need your help. Oh, okay. Um, you lost your fourth child because you were accused of molesting another child. Right? You were accused of molesting. I was accused of it, yes. Did you molest a child? No, I did not. Child number five. You have custody of this child, but have been accused of hitting him so hard. He's, what, like one years old. You've been accused of hitting him so hard you busted his lip when he was crying. No, I have never hit him hard enough to even make him bleed. It was just a... Just a tap. On the mouth? Yes, because he said a bad word. A one-year-old? Yes. He is what did a one-year-old say? <laughs> really? Really, a one-year-old said yes, that? and it comes out as clear as day with him. Mm, it's a little crack on the mouth. Not, don't say not that again. Not hard enough to hurt him. Yeah, just to make him bleed. No, I did not do that. <laughs> if you shake babies and hit them when they cry, why on earth do you keep having children? Why didn't you stop at two, the twins? You're on crack, you're on meth, you knew you are a bad mother. I guess because I like to lay on my back enough. <laughs> Child number six. And, you know, it's, it's just so unbelievable, this story. Child number six, he's four months old and was taken from you. Now, you said you've been clean for two years now, right? Yes. Okay, now we're talking child number six. This is in the last couple months, right? Yes. Okay, so this isn't drugs. This isn't crack talking in my ear. Nope. This isn't meth eating away at my brain, making me mad. Nope. This is you clear-headed. Yes. Okay. Child number six, he's four months old and was taken away from you two months ago. We have court documents that say you removed him from a breathing monitor that he requires to survive. For 20 to 30 minutes because the monitor kept going off. It was going off 20 to 40 times a night. It was waking me up, waking my neighbors up. Well, I called the doctors. Just reeling the big fish in. So you're inconvenienced because you the, the machine's beeping. So instead of having the machine help your baby breathe, you you turn it off because you're bothered it, by I the beeping. I turned it off for 20 to 30 minutes. How about if I choked you for 20 to 30 minutes and cut off your air supply? It says, I was briefed that you were trying to get a $50 gift card for returning the monitor. I was not trying to get that money. I ain't worried about money. You're not worried about you, you didn't I am not worried it. about money. So that's not. They could take that money and shut it where, where God didn't split them. Oh, how about like feeding your kids? I feed my kids. Oh. My kids get what they want. How about air? They get air too. That's oh. why I took them to the emergency room. Okay. Child number six only gets air as long as it's not bothering you, keeping you awake at night, huh? No. Yeah. I made sure he was breathing because one night that's why he's on the monitor because he wasn't breathing and I took him to the hospital. And he needs the machine to breathe and you took him off of it. For 20 to 30 minutes because I took the machine to the doctor's office. He needs the machine, you evil b He needs it to breathe. <laughs>